thanks for joining me today for a new video. I'm going to be sharing a technique with you that is really fun and a great way to use your ink cubes. We're also going to be using some embossing folders from our Simon Says Stamp latest release called Just a Note. And it just so happens that we actually released some additional ink cubes for our positively saturated ink line. So we're going to be using all of these products together to create three different cards that are a lot of fun. So I have a few sets of cubes here. The two on the right are the newest ink cubes to our positively saturated ink collection. And the two on the left are ones that we've previously released. And then I have two embossing folders here, but I actually will bring in a third. This is Darcy Bouquet, Golden Fern, and I will bring in Gradient Dot for another design. So to create our backgrounds that we're going to make for our cards, we first need to start by embossing our paper. I'm using Simon Says Stamp 120 pound white paper, and I'm going to use a spray bottle to just mist the paper ever so slightly. So that way, when I run this through my die cut machine to emboss it, it'll prevent cracking of the paper. So here is our beautiful Darcy bouquet. So pretty. We're actually going to flip it over to the other side. So the, what we call the debossed side of the folder. And we're going to take our ink cubes and start swiping them across our paper. What's going to happen is that as we swipe the ink across, the ink is going to catch on the raised areas of the paper and not the debossed areas. So we're going to create this really cool effect. It almost looks like letterpress. It's so much fun to watch this magically appear when you swipe the ink across the paper. I'm using a light touch so that way I don't get any harsh lines, nor do I get any of the square shape of the ink pad on my paper. I want to create a really nice smooth transition. And so I blended these colors to create a really pretty purple background. I'm going to do this again so that way you can see a couple variations. I have golden fern here. This is a really nice bold embossing folder and I'm going to go ahead and emboss that same paper. Again, we want to flip it over to the deboss side of the folder. And this time we're going to mix different colors together. So instead of using just purples, I'm actually going to mix green, teal, and blue together. Starting with green, I'm going to add a little bit of color towards the bottom and swiping my ink pads up towards the middle. Then I'm going to overlap with the next color. And this time I'm going to create some additional colors in between. So when the teal and the green meet, they create another color, which is really fun. Then I'm going to move on to a slightly bluer shade of teal. This is Surf. I do have all the colors that I use listed below in the video description and on our Simon Says Stamp blog. So if you're curious about any of the colors that we're using here, you can find them all there. And what's really neat about this technique is that because we're using cubes, we can really control the amount of ink that's going down onto the paper. If you were using a full size pad, it would of course cover a lot more of the surface. And by using cubes, you get a very different look. So it's really nice to be able to have that option of being able to use cubes or pads. Having both is oftentimes a really great resource for using them to create different techniques. So I also used those same cubes to create this design for the gradient dot embossing folder. And we have three beautiful and bold backgrounds using this really cool ink swiping technique. So now I'm going to turn these into actual cards. I'm going to start first by stamping this birthday greeting from a CZ design stamp set. And we're going to do a fade of colors across this greeting. So I started with Royal for a nice dark blue. Then I'm going to add a little bit of surf in the middle. As I'm switching between colors, you'll notice I take my blending brush and feather out the color so that way I don't have any harsh lines. I'm also making sure that when I use the next color of ink, I go down into the area of where I was before with the previous color of ink. So that way we get nice transitions and blends. The next color I used was green. I'll go ahead and overlap that with the teal. And finally, we're going to finish off with a little bit of yellow. When you look at the sentiment against the background, you're going to see that these colors match up with the area of where I'm going to end up placing the sentiment on my card. I'm going to cover the background that I created with the gradient dot embossing folder with some terrific tape from Simon's Stamp. I covered four sides and I'll remove the release paper on three of those sides to start. This is going to be adhesive that I can fold some stamp packaging into. This is some plastic from a stamp set and I'm going to use this to form an edge to edge shaker pocket. So I'm going to fold three of those edges of the plastic into the adhesive forming my pocket. And then I can go ahead and dump some colorful sequins inside to fill it up. 
We'll turn this over and remove that last release paper and then fold the last edge of the plastic into it. I'll trim off any excess that might be hanging off the sides, shake things up, and we have our shaker ready to go. I wanted to create a shadow effect for my greeting, so I die cut the Oh Happy Day sentiment actually just from some black cardstock. I didn't stamp on it, but this is going to be a shadow piece that I can layer my actual greeting on top of. So when I lay this down, I'm just going to leave a little bit of excess off of the left and bottom side. And that's going to look really cool when we stick this down on top of our card. And here's where you, you can see how those colors that we stamped the greeting with match up with that background. I always love taking my inks and using them to create custom colors of cardstock that perfectly match my cards. So here I'm taking a orange cube and I'm going to apply this onto white paper, dry it with my heat tool, and then I can stamp it with some ink. I'm using clear ink from Simon Says Stamp so that I can emboss this with white embossing powder. I'll use my heat tool to set this and I held that paper with my Simon Says Stamp clothespin, which helps keep my fingers from getting burned. I will cut this sentiment down with my Tim Holtz mini trimmer. And this will just be a nice little sentiment strip that I can put underneath of the Oh Happy Day greeting. I'm gonna glue this straight down onto the card, no dimension on this, and this will float right underneath. So our card is almost done, but the last thing I did was stick it onto a black card base for a nice bold finish and check out those sequins inside, it's so cool. So bright and happy, we've got this really cool background created with the gradient dots embossing folder. And by swiping those inks in a stripe pattern, we get a really unique look. Moving back over to our floral paper, I'm going to go ahead and cover the back side with a bit of adhesive so I can attach this down onto some silver cardstock. This is our Simon Says Stamp matte silver cardstock, and I want to create a very thin frame around my paper. This just adds a little bit of a touch of metallic and gives this card a very elegant feel. I'm going to glue this onto a fog card base that I made from our Simon Says Stamp fog cardstock, and the size of the card is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to glue my entire panel onto that card base using some Simon Says Stamp glue stick. It's a really nice adhesive for attaching panels onto your card because you have a little bit of wiggle room before the glue actually dries. I'm going to die cut this fancy birthday die from that same silver card stock. Then I'll glue this on top of a shadow layer that I cut from white, but I'm gonna color with the galaxy color that is used in the background. This is going to be a really nice dark contrast against that silver and will make it stand out really nicely on top of our background. I always like adding another layer behind my greetings to give them a stacked finish. This gives them a little bit of dimension and makes the sentiment feel special. So once I've glued my sentiment together, then I can go ahead and adhere it down on top of my shadow layer. And that shadow looks just so good against that silver cardstock. I did add a secondary greeting to finish off the sentiment. This is a sentiment from a Simon Says Stamp birthday sentiment strip set, and I'm going to glue that straight above the word birthday. I finish things off by adding a little bit of sparkle using some clear droplets from Trinity Stamps. If you're curious about any of the products that I am using today, I do have them linked below in the video description so you can check them out. So that completes this very elegant floral card. I love the monochromatic effect of those twilight galaxy and morning ink cubes together. It's such a beautiful and elegant finish. So we're gonna finish things up by completing that fern background we made. I'm taking a sponge applicator and some of our Simon Says Stamp clear ink to go ahead and apply some of this onto the fern. I'm focusing around the fern itself, not on the rest of the background. That's just going to give me a place that I can sprinkle on some clear sparkle embossing powder. This happens to be from Brutus Monroe. And because we're using a pouncing tool to apply that ink onto our paper, it's not going to apply the ink actually inside of the fern. So the glitter is going to stay only on the raised areas where the background is. And then that's going to make the white fern stand out really, really well. And we get this really cool highlight effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this off by adding a little bit of sparkle with some silver mica stain. I'll splatter that onto the background to create a really nice texture. And then I pulled in this greeting from a CZ Design Gratitude sentiment strip set. I cut the sentiment apart so it was in three pieces and then I glued them onto my card with some foam squares. And I put them at a little bit of an angle for something a little bit different, which I think is very trendy. I love how that sparkle just catches the light. It's so cool, it highlights that fern beautifully. 
So here are the three cards we made with our ink technique on top of embossing folders. Ink swiping is such a cool way to give your embossed designs a completely different look. It almost looks like brush strokes, like you may have painted this with some watercolors. I hope you were inspired by today's project. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.